Oh, hello, hello, and welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and today we are working on the next part of our Lynn Moncrief inspired accordion book. And as always, I have done today's for us to work on together. Now, I'm looking on Lynn's website. Her one of these is quite different, really, but it's the same principle. I mean, she has three of these buttons. She has, um, I believe it's called Time Lost, and that's what she's got stamped at the bottom, whereas I had this one already made, so I've gone with that. So, that's the one that I've already done. Let me make sure you can still see that on the corner of the screen. And we're going to get on and do the one in this book. Now, as you can see, I've already done the background because we would have needed time for that to dry. So the stamp that I used here was this one. If anybody wants to know, um, it comes from All and Create. And it's 447 and it's got the poppies, which you know I love, and the postmarks on it. So that's that one that I used there. But I thought, because obviously we don't want them identical, for this one I would use this one. Now you can see this has come from a charity shop haul. Apparently it goes under bedding, but anyway. <laughs> um, but it's all floral. So I'm going to use some of that. I thought also I would use a different coloured card today rather than that yellowy card that I used yesterday. Um, I will still use the standard string and obviously, whoops, my, I'm having a bit of a crafter launch here. Uh, my standard hole punch <coughs> and we're going to need some bits of fabric. Well... I've got an odd bit of fabric here, it's much lighter than that one. And I'll just dig out a couple of buttons from my box to also use for that. Well, I say box, it's actually a tin. And I was going to bring it over so you could see, but then I realised all the papers that the weight of the tin is holding back would collapse. So we can have that one. Don't really like that one. Let's see if we can find another one. I'm trying to look for ones that look quite old. That one does, but it's got a rounded bottom. Oh, actually, we could put it up that way, couldn't we? That would be maybe interesting. Um, just one more little dip, and we'll see what we come up with. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that one. That's an oval. We'll use that one. So there's my buttons. I've got a needle and thread just here. She says, yep, there's a needle and thread to sew our buttons. So it's a bit of mixed media going on here, really. To do this background, I used watered down. So I rubbed it onto my glass mat, the iced spruce distress. I sprayed it in water. And then I used the... Distress spray gathered twigs, but again, I mixed it with water and then I just mixed a bit of acrylic um, paint with water to make it more of a dye and splattered that about there. So, there you go. So, um, what should we do first? Oh, and also, I need a word or something to stamp down the bottom there with, don't I? A saying or something well I'll find that in a minute so I think the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make the tag so I'm gonna get up my guillotine um, and I felt that when I'd done it that one was a bit big so I'm gonna do this one smaller I'm gonna do it at two and a quarter so it's a nice thinnish tag and then I want it to about that point whatever that measures let's see that's gonna measure three and a quarter 
There we go. Like that. We'll have a smaller tag this time. Um, I'm going to trim off my corners. I've lost my um, loyalty card again. So I'm just using this playing card at the moment. So trim off the corners. Get rid of that. Turn it over. Trim off that corner. Give ourselves a hole. Okay. So I'm going to get a little bit of ink and colour on here. And so a bit of book page. Like so. Get my makeup brush. I uh, want to get some colour around the edge and then I want to come into the centre a bit as well because we don't want it too white, do we? Really? Okay, that looks quite good. I think once we get a nice crisp stamp on it. So there's my block. Now, which one of these do I think I want to use? This one is um, sort of roses. Actually, no, they're poppies. Well, we've got to use the poppies, haven't we? That's the end of that discussion. <laughs> poppies it will be. So, let's get some ink on there. Now, being a brand new stamp, it's going to take bit of inking so I'm going to test it out on this book page first wow lovely so turn it over put that down ink this up again do you know these I'm saying about these stamps coming from the charity shop and they did I mean it's not a fib but do you know my mum must be something to do with where she lives every time I go to my mum's she has got that's lovely she's got a wad of stuff from the charity shop I don't know how she does it when I go I'm lucky if I can find to my local ones I'm lucky if I can find a book <laughs> it's really really bizarre now I'm thinking I would also like something down here and I've got this postal one I'm a bit obsessed with postmarks as you know so I'm thinking I'm going to do that on that side. So we'll get some black on here. It did have gold on it. So, but I want it coming off the edge. So about there, like that. That suits me very nicely. Thank you very much. Happy with that. Get that out of the way. Bring our page back. So this is going to sit about there. We want our fabric for our buttons and this has been torn and folded with the button on top. So that's that one and then we need another one. But then also I want some stuff underneath that tag. So we'll sew those in a minute and put them up the top there but i want something going on under this tag so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to take my tear ruler and i'm going to pull this creamy edge off of the side of the page i've got a nice rough sort of shape to it now i'm gonna just tear it short like that I'm going to pop it under there and now I need to find some packing tape so um, not tape paper and packing paper just because it's that nice brown color so try that so then it will go sort of like that like that and like that so we create that 
and then I will need to find a word to put over the top but I can actually do you know what in here there's um oh the wedding but that's quite nice ah there we go look at this postcard from Cuba I like that I'm gonna go with that I mean I might even use the 11 in it so very often putting out you know the chapter number and the title of that chapter can be great for your work I like to do that I do that quite a bit so pull that down pull that up so we've got a raggedy edge and then I'm just gonna put that on there like that a bit straighter than that Claire like that so we've got our three layers okay so we need to do some gluing don't we so it's cut a piece of string pop my string through my card and this is actually the back of a birthday card so <laughs> it can be used you know we're recycling as much as we can and I'm not tying it tight to the ring I want it sort of baggy there and they will hang down like so and then I'm going to cut them on the angle get rid of those two pieces right I'm going to do a little bit of inking up round my papers here so because obviously it's grungy isn't it this whole idea is about the grunge so just got to add a bit of grunge in and you see I did the pen lines around the edge as well it's not something I usually do but I quite like how that came out so we've got that one that one and then the title piece so that's my computer tinging. Something's obviously happening on Facebook or YouTube. Okay, let's get rid of this. So I think I'm going to start with this little white one. So I'm going to glue that one down first I'm going to glue it quite high oh I didn't do the words in the background either did I hang on a second let's just stick that back I'm going to go back to the poppy one that I had here and I'm going to do this bit of writing through the middle we need black for that trouble when you're copying something you don't always um, remember all of it sometimes you have to go back and I'm going to put it there like that all right that's fine okay so now we're going to glue this piece quite high and you can do this really with anything it's a bit like when um, Look, now I've glued the wrong side. I'm really not on it today, am I? Goodness me. It's a bit like when people do, you know, inspired by Pinterest or whatever. You can you can do this with almost anything, to be honest. Find something you like and make your version of it. Simple as that, really. I'm doing this, A, because, as you know, I love a bit of grunge. And B... I am um, I'm truly inspired by Lynn and Grief. I think her work is awesome. So there you go. Okay. So we're gonna pop that on top of both of them and hanging over a little bit like that. I'm gonna open this out so I'm not on that bobbly bit that's underneath. Okay. 
So we've got our text, we've got our toe. That one's going to go on the top now as the top layer. So I'm going to put that there, like that. So we've got our three layers, okay. I did put some fabric on that one, but I've left this one without. I'm going to sew my buttons. Whoops. So just a standard oh, needle and black thread, okay. Just put a knot in the back of the thread. You know it's a sew button on, you don't need me to tell you that. Oops, that knot obviously wasn't very big, was it? Right, into my button. And I'm deliberately doing it in black thread rather than white, which is, of course, what you'd use if you were doing this button onto a shirt or something like that, because I want it to be really obvious and really stand out. So like that just the three is probably plenty and then what I did on those ones was I came up at an angle so that I had oops not that angle though eh? well, it could be that angle like that so that we had the thread hanging at the front like so okay do the same with the other one. I think it's nice to have actual buttons, actually sewn, if you know what I mean. When you use things like the paper buttons, it, it, I feel it's fine to um, just put the thread through the button and then glue the whole thing on. But because obviously this is a real button, I feel like it should have real thread on it. Why is it that when you try and sew on camera, it nearly always goes wrong? doesn't bode well for slow stitching on Sunday, does it? But anyway, there we go. So, been up and down. Oops, go up and down again. Like so. And then just poke it through so that we've got our thread on the front okay that's that now um my pen what i did you see the circles there can you see the circles there basically just sort of whoops went round quite rough like that I don't think I use this actually because they're smaller, but I just did something around something like that. Okay. And then while I was at it, I just sort of went and came all the way down and across and then back up the other side just to sort of frame it, but in a deliberately rough way. If that makes sense look this is how crazy I am goodness me and then here I just put glue in the circles and popped that in there yeah that was definitely a smaller lid I used for that one and there you go look there are the two pages this is the one I did on my own off camera and then this is the one that I've obviously just done with you guys so there we have another page done in our in inspired booklets so how many pages have we got now I missed a few there deliberately so we've got one two three there you go so we had the initial video and now we've done three pages Hope you found some inspiration. You're going to go and get grungy and messy doing that. <laughs> Have fun while you're doing it. I'll be back to see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.